Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, April 12, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 10, 2023, our system has ranked Palantir as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.57. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Unfortunately, the stock hasn't performed as expected, with a loss of minus 0.72% so far. This translates to an average loss of minus 0.24% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current 3-month trend suggests a potential 8.31% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 0.544% and 38.17%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 20.29% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 57.72% and minus 6.73%. This translates to a price range of $3.52 to $7.77 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Palantir stock downgraded from strong by candidate to by candidate after Wednesday trading session. The Palantir stock price fell by minus 3.25% on the last day, Wednesday, April 12, 2023, from $8.61 to $8.33. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.72% from a day low at $8.30 to a day high of $8.78. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 4.13% gain for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 7 million shares and in total, 29 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $238.86 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $13.33, and the lowest price was $5.84. Currently, the price is 37.51%, or $5, below the 52-week high, and 81.49%, or $36.67, below the all-time high on January 27, 2021, when the price reached $45. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. The Palantir stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $8.30 and $8.11. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, March 10, 2023 and so far it has risen 13.33%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. 
Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. The stock had a golden star signal on Wednesday, March 29, 2023 in the short-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 23 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 2 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 24 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 48 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palantir Palantir finds support from accumulated volume at $8.20 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.475 between high and low, or 5.72%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 6.56%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2023 is expected on May 08, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $9.22. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $8.20. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On March 31, 2023, Palantir Technologies Incorporated conducted an insider sell of zero shares of class A common stock. On April 3, 2023, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 21,900 shares of class A common stock. On March 15, 2023, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider sell of 7,000 shares of class A common stock. On March 1, 2023, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 21,900 shares of class A common stock. On February 24, 2023, Sankar Sham conducted an insider sell of 50,000 shares of class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 16.175. Overall, insiders purchased 9,855,378 shares and sold 13,826,363 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $7.88, minus 5.43%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 22 days ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, 
along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Palantir stock to perform well in the short term. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, April 13, we expect Palantir to open up $0.138 and start trading at $8.47. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.